take and get old school back to 1964 for Dollar Tree Theater. This five midnight movie pack on two DVDs has been magnificent. Zombie House, Hell House, Night of Living Dead. I've, all, I've already reviewed both of those. White Zombie I just reviewed. Last Man on Earth. And then lastly, Revolt of the Zombies. I will get through this collection for Dollar Tree Theater. So next week we will do the Revolt of the Zombies. But today we are talking about The Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price. This is a nice little set for one buck. I mean, man. You really get some epic films on here. And before 1968, when we had Night of the Living Dead, we had vampires that kind of act like zombies in Last Man on Earth. Vincent Price and his family are in the midst of a pandemic. A whole bunch of viruses or a particular virus is affecting everybody. Starring Vincent Price, Francois Batilla, directed by Arbaldo Ragonia and Sidney Sakoa. Now, this is stemmed from the original adaptations of I Am Legend, which also ended up making other film adaptations with I Am Legend and I Am Omega. And Last Man on Earth. Now, Vincent is obviously the last man surviving on Earth. As he has to fend off during the daytime vampires that are trying to come after him. And he goes through his daily routine of making food. Making sure he is well supplied with stock. Making sure that he is going to be able to survive his daily activities. Just to keep himself sane for his mental health. Well, essentially, you know, one day he comes out and he realizes that there might be some signs of life. As he finds a dog, he starts to find love and compassion for the dog, but ends up knowing that the dog is infected. Also realizes that there is a woman out there named Ruth, I believe what her name was. I may be inc incorrect on that, but I believe her name was Ruth realizing that Ruth might be one of the other survivors. Of course, he befriends her, wants to take her blood and whatnot and find out if she is fully infected and give her some of his blood to determine if he can cure her even if she is infected. Well, along the way, as they have to fight these vampires, he does have a friend that keeps knocking on the door. <laughs> And I know that this is one that a lot of people um, have an issue with here. Uh, because you keep hearing, Robert, Robert, I know you're there, Robert. So Ruth is kind of like, what's going on? You know, he's like, oh, that's just my friend. He's trying to get in here to kill me. And, you know. Eventually, I'm going to have to stake him, and I'll be happy to do that and, and whatnot. But he, it's just so funny because he's just like, Robert. This is kind of a funny voice. And, uh, you know, throughout the course of the film, he's really trying to find happiness and try to find some signs of, of mental health. He does have these flashbacks about his family and watching these home movies, and it's it's really touching, to be honest with you. And he's just trying to find... Some type of sense of, of togetherness. And it, it's kind of creepy. Because if I would have watched this during the pandemic. Which I didn't. I would have been creeped out by this film. I would have felt uneasy. And would not. But things are supposedly getting better. Again supposedly getting better. With the pandemic. We've come a long way. But I still choose to wear my mask. But anyways. Just my personal preference. However. That is the plot of the film, but, you know, getting towards the end, I don't want to spoil the film, because you have to see, you 
absolutely have to see this. I know there are people that are choosing not to watch some of these films because of the dates. They're black and white. They might not be, you know, that exciting. But actually, I believed that most of this was in color. I don't know why they have it saying that it was black and white. I was surprised to see that it was in color, I believe. And, um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on Last Man on Earth. It gets about a 5.7 to 6 and a half on IMDb. That's just kind of the range it goes between. I loved it. I don't understand the director, or excuse me, the, um, the person that did the novels, uh, Richard Matheson. He felt that Vincent Price wasn't the correct role for this. Vincent Price says, I was better than, uh, the lead in I Am Omega. And I, the guy in I Am Omega says I was better than the one in uh, Last Man on Earth, going back to 1964. Um, I don't know. It's just, I really like Vincent Price. Really, he can do no wrong in my eyes. But uh, let me know your thoughts on Last Man on Earth. So glad to finally catch this one. I've seen many people review it, but really enjoying this set. It's definitely worth it if you get a chance to go out and see this. Definitely worth the value. These films get this for one buck at Dollar Tree. Anyways, have a great rest of your week. This is Dollar Tree Theater. Hobbs Horror. Peace. Welcome, welcome to the house on the A6 block I'm just chilling on the porch in my chair I rock I'm your host Jimmy Biggs with the ghoulish grip The only light outside is the full moon grip Welcome, welcome to a world mixed with evil and good If you ain't plan on staying then you misunderstood This ain't a nightmare The figment of imagination Step inside and the house will awaken Stand